economics, we consider something called the diamond water paradox. This is Harwood Mills Reservoir near Newport News, Virginia. Why does the residents in this city pay one penny per gallon for water out of this reservoir while a diamond costs $2,500 per carat? I mean, you can't eat or drink a diamond. Well, it has to do with scarcity. I'm very close to the place I grew up. I could have walked here. This is Causey's Mill Park in Newport News. In 1866, William Causey used this in his business. We have all the factors of production here. Um, off to the area behind me, we have a tree and we have ground the tree sat on. And this is land. In front of me, we have water. This is also considered land. It might be strange, but yes, the water too is considered land in economics. Now off to my side is Causey's mill itself. The mill was built by William Causey in 1866, and it's a building. Buildings and machines are considered capital in economics. So now we have two factors of production, capital and land. Well, Mr. Causey is considered an entrepreneur, and that would be the third factor of production. He invested his own time, his own money, worked for his business, and so we consider him an entrepreneur. And anybody who would have worked for him here at the mill, we would consider them a laborer. Take care. Isn't it amazing in the year 2020 to think that in the 18th century, this was considered the latest, greatest technology? That's the way times change. So, when we're thinking about the factors of production, land, labor, capital like this, and entrepreneurial labor, we can think of a budget line, but we actually change that and we call it a production possibilities curve. And if you look at any point on it, it's the point where society is using all of these economic resources um, fully. And if we're inside the line, it means society's not using all the resources. One or more of them is not being fully utilized. If we're above the line, and many great economic thinkers do think above the line, we're thinking about something that's not possible now, but given a few years, and technological change, who knows? Hey there, it's Professor Leo. As the coronavirus rages through the economy, I'm walking through Norfolk International Airport, and I'm thinking about the 70-year-old movie, The Day the Earth Stood Still. That movie was stunning when Clay II, an alien, was able to shut down all electric power on Earth for a short period of time while he lectured mankind about the dangers of nuclear war. Haven't we sort of done that here with the economy? Just shut it down? Well, President Trump said, this economy isn't built to be shut down. Unfortunately, he's correct. We've got to find a balance. I'm not a doctor, and I'm not the Lord. But to those who say there needs to be a trade-off, 3 million unemployment claims last week, or 22,000 deaths since the coronavirus began, I say, I choose neither. 50 years ago, as the Beatles were breaking up, Paul McCartney said, there will be an answer, let it be. We've got to keep searching for it. <laughs>